freedom of is, is uh, part of the continuum of the from normal glucose to diabetes. And once you start having elevation of glucose, it points out that many other changes are in your body. There can be changes in the blood vessels, there can be changes in the kidneys, uh, there are changes with glucose going up. So it's a definition of numbers, but during that continuum, people that do have prediabetes typically also have high blood pressure, typically are overweight. If they do what you did, Anne, and they would exercise, to the level that you did, and perhaps those also some weight, they may slow down or even prevent the continuum to diabetes and improve the cardiovascular outcome. Otherwise, a large group of people with prediabetes have issues with blood pressure, have issues with heart disease, have issues with sometimes strokes, and need to be very careful in these groups. Lots of people like to use the term metabolic syndrome or cardiometabolic syndrome or insulin resistance syndrome, there are different names for this condition that what it says is, it's not just issue of glucose, it's issue of cardiovascular risk. And yes, you need to be careful.